paperdigest.org. This is a, an interesting tool. It gives a few tech AI options. Let me start with the option of literature review. A systematic literature review, a machine that can write a literature review around any given topic in seconds. Let's see what it can do for us. I'm going to use the terms cricket injury. Let's see what it produces. So it's given us a, a whole bunch of papers over since the inception of research. And there's related work, and they all does seem they all do seem related to cricket injury. So this is useful. We can use this easily and find these articles. And then it gives you a short summary of the work um, of the again, never copy and paste and use this summary as is. Um, it's considered plagiarism. You need to you can't present the work of others as if it's your own. Um, but these references may come in handy. Do check that they are really supporting the statements that's stating here, stated here, because um, with AI tools, we know that sometimes errors do creep in. Okay, so this is the literature review function. Let's see what else it can do. Let's go to the text rewriter. Now, this is always a bit precarious to me. Uh, what does people do with text rewriters? Um, is it to rewrite a piece that you've copied and pasted, uh, copied from another section and you, you paste it into your paper and you want to rewrite it? Is it to get a different perspective? So I would say be very careful of how you use this. Now, this is a paragraph that I've written myself and let's see what it produces. And it gives us a result. It seems to be much shorter than the result here, but again, do consider it carefully. You can also summarize it or questionify. Let's see what it does when we use this option. Seems like it's going to summarize it. And it gives a result. Okay, interesting. And let's question five it. Oh, so yeah, it produced a whole bunch of questions about this piece. Let's look at another function of Paper Digest. This AI function, Scitec question answering. Let's see, let's type a question in there. What is the relationship between physical activity and anxiety. Let's see what it gives us. So it gives us an answer and it seems like it only comes up with one study. I guess it's good enough if you only need one study to support your question. But I must say some of the other tools, some of the other AI and research tools are quite good and gives quite a few different um, answers. So this is quite good. It's not too bad. Definitely a tool that you can use. So those are the three AI functions, but it also has other functions where you can receive a daily paper digest where you enter your email address and then you can track new papers by area, author or keyword and receive a one sentence summary of each paper on a daily basis, which is quite nice just to become aware of the latest research in the area. So this is a nifty little free tool. You can play around with it and um, have fun. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.